Where should you buy your silver? Well, I have a new dealer for you to consider. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Really, thank you for watching my videos. In fact, can we see how many likes we can get on this video? I, most of you probably know this, but some of you might not. When you like with the thumbs up right down there, it helps get the word out, especially to new stackers. Maybe they're Googling, you know, how to stack or, or where should they buy their silver? You never know when somebody is going to reach out to you and ask you about stacking silver and where to buy it. Case in point, just last week, my boss at work, that you know, a really great guy, I've worked with him for a lot of years, I trust him. He sent me an email asking me how to stack. He wanted to start a small stack for his grandson. So I, I thought that was awesome. I was pretty excited. I I whipped off, you know, some general tips like, you know, keep it simple when you first start stacking, you know, uh, stick with lower premium items, avoid the numismatic, collectible coins, uh, focus on government minted silver bullion coins like, you know, American Silver Eagles, Canadian Maple Leafs, that type of thing. Stay away from the more expensive fractional silver rounds. Check out constitutional or junk silver. And, you know, consider gold as a more dense way to stack, right? So those were the tips I quickly gave him. But then he asked me where. Where should he buy his precious metals? And that prompted this video, folks. So I'm going to share with you one of the new online bullion dealers that I told my boss about. One that just shipped me this item. Uh, you know, but first I told my boss that the best way to buy silver and gold, in my opinion, okay, is through a trusted local coin shop dealer. One that is, you know, close by that you can establish a relationship with. Yeah, I love, you know, dealing with a local coin shop dealer. I love paying cash when I, you know, buy my bullion. I love to keep my purchases as private as possible. I like to avoid shipping. Yeah, you get that. But a lot of you out there don't have that opportunity. You know, I can't do that. I don't live near a local coin shop dealer or my local coin shop dealer is some obnoxious boomer or you know, I don't trust the guy or he's not fair with prices or, you know, or uh, COVID Yankee, hello, I'm in a lockdown state. I can't do it. So yes, I get it. A lot of you, an online bullion dealer is your only decent choice. And I did share with my boss several of my old standbys, you know, people that, I, or companies I should say, that I used uh, when I was first stacking, right? JM Bullion, SD Bullion, right. But the last online bullion dealer that I suggested was Hero Bullion. Hero Bullion is owned and operated by Jake Haugen. He formerly worked at Provident Metal, so he knows his stuff. He left Provident, started his own company. He's a family man. He's a stacker. He's concerned about our nation's fiscal and monetary madness, like most of us are. And he's fair in how he treats his customers. Frankly, whether it is, you know, my local coin shop dealer, Tim, or uh, Chris Luck at GCS Gold, or Jake Haugen of Hero Bullion, guys, I really like to support the little guy. Not the Walmarts and Amazons of bullion dealers. So that's a big reason why I like to support smaller online bullion dealers. All right, I've, I've talked enough. I want to I wanna rip into this right now. And I, I'm going to do this so fast. Watch. How's that for fast? <laughs> okay. Um, first things first, thank you, Hero Bullion. It is our honor to have you as a customer. Thanks so much for trusting us to be a part of your bullion journey. This is great. I, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but definitely uh, there's the number. Here's the info. Hashtag be your own hero. I love that. Thank you. Uh, it, hold on. Hold on. I did not buy this. Guys. I did not, 
I don't, yeah, I don't know why there's a tube in there, but I'm pretty jacked that there is. That's incredible. This is what I'm expecting. Wow. Let's let's see what we have. Yep. Okay. So this is the paperwork. Uh, yep. That's it. We'll just hide that for for now. What? Oh. Oh, there it is, guys. Whoa. The 2020 one ounce silver Mexican Libertad. Yeah. Oh, that that is that is sweet. Wow. And a coin capsule again, something I did not expect. Wow. Real gold is not afraid of the melting pot. <laughs> That's great. Oh, my word. Guys, this is the only thing I expected. This, this is amazing. This is nice, too. Ooh, I'm going to pop that in there, definitely. Yeah, you know, the 2020 Libertad is just stunning. It's a beautiful coin. Look, and, and, and yeah, I said coin, okay? I know it doesn't have a, uh, a face value minted on it, but the Mexican Libertad is, is still considered currency, uh, it's uh, guaranteed by the Banco de Mexico. So in my book, it's a coin. <laughs> and you probably already know what a Libertad looks like. So I'm not going to oogle the coin. Ooh. <laughs> but um, let me just say, the 2020 has been really difficult to get a hold of, guys. All right. Um, at least at a reasonable price. Okay. Not on eBay. Yes, you can get them there, but that's expensive. And there's been a lot of videos popping up on YouTube. People have talked at length about these coins, so I'm not going to, except to say that it, it these one ounces have a mintage of 300,000, okay? It does have some, you know, real semi-numismatic draw for collector stackers. I'm not primarily a collector stacker, but oh my. Wow, I do love to have some uh, silver ice cream cones once in a while, but you know, I get the 300,000 is not that um, rare. Uh, it's not super low. Shoot, that's the same vintage as the uh, 2018s, I believe. But the premiums are still incredibly high. And I think that's largely due to COVID-19. The challenge of uh, you know producing these, shipping them. Um, you know, the pre-sales of the 2020s began back in uh, November, I think, to go on sale. They sold out wicked fast. I mean, really, really quick. I think in some cases, like in an hour, they were gone. So yeah, let's just drop that in. Oh, I didn't expect a coin capsule, really? Jake, that is awesome. So anyways, 300,000. Actually, no one really knows how many of the 300 made it to America. I mean, the Mexican mint traditionally prioritizes Mexican buyers first. And then, you know, they, they sent them out. Probably a bunch of them ended up in Europe and Asia. I'm guessing, I don't know, maybe 100,000 or so made it to the United States. Love that. That is really cool. Now, Hero Bullion, which I just want to tout again, guys. Hero Bullion ran out of these one-ounce coins really quickly. I it was uh, chatting with Jake, uh, and the last I heard, there was you know another small batch that they got of uh, one ounce, two ounce, even five ounces. They went quick. I, guys, the demand is high for these. There may be a few more, he said, left at Hero Bullion, but you're going to need to call them. And and that, guys, is is what I mean about a small online bullion dealer owned and operated by someone who works hard to gain your trust right here. They want to gain your trust and they have mine. And by the way, Jake mentioned that they're now taking e-checks. So I don't know if you use e-checks when you shop online, but I love e-checks. I think they take them up to $2,500. And I think he said the uh, limit may be increasing soon. So anyway, this guy's is a great way to buy your bullion, hero bullion right? And this, oh man, this is going to be a great addition to my special 
stack of silver ice cream cones. Oh yeah, let's put that right in there. Oh, guys, check out Hero Bullion online at herobullion.com. Call Hero Bullion too. And if you speak with Jake directly, tell him Yankee sent you. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.